Last year, the Sunday Times voted High Barnet as the fourth most popular place for families in, in Britain. And, and they quoted, it was an ideal area for Londoners wanting to show their children more rural area. And I think you have the best of both worlds. You've got the transport links here with the edge of North London, but you've also got the green belt, the countryside and the doorstep. So it's a great place for families, certainly. Barnet's a really good place to live because um, it's London, but it isn't London. It's a suburb and it's quiet and it's got like a villagey feel. But if you want to get into the West End, it's about 40 minutes on the tube and it's got a tube station right high by it. And there's also lots and lots of buses. I work in West London, Chelsea and Fulham. I can be down there in about 49 minutes from my door. Sometimes I drive down into the West End. If you leave at seven, you can easily be there, easily be there for eight. It's literally about three or four miles from the M25 and the A1 um, and the M1 is quite close, you know, it's, it's to get out and about outside of London, it's great. High Barnet has got a high street and on there there's lots of coffee shops and restaurants. It's a great place to find everything. We've got uh, the Spire Shopping Centre which is about to be redeveloped and we're going to get even more shops in it. You've got Waitrose there so you can go and do your supermarket shop. There's lots of independent shops. We encourage independent stores on our high street and it adds to the character. We have a lovely independent sweet shop called Hopscotch and he sells um, sweets and chocolates that even my mum loves because they're names that were recognised for her from when she was at school and things like sherbet dips. We have home shops like Annabella's and several others. So if you want to buy lampshades or mirrors or we're quite well served for interior kind of things. For restaurants, Barnet is renowned. You can have your traditional English Sunday, you can have French, Italian you can have. We've been here for, for 10 years now and uh, the restaurant has evolved over that time. We're producing good quality food every day. Everything we do here is, is, is made on the premises. So our breads, our ice creams, all our sauces, all our stocks, we actually buy nothing in. We're right on the green here, uh, which, which is beautiful. Barnet itself is fantastically historic. Um, we've got an amazing high street with some, with some lovely old buildings. And actually, if you look at the buildings, you actually think, you know, the, some of these buildings have be, been here since the 1100s, and they, it, 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 it's a very special high street, and it, it's still on the discovering stage, I think. There's quite a few character properties in, um, in the Barnet area, High Barnet, um, established properties in Hadleywood, Arkley, also the Victorian houses in the, sort of, in the chipping area part of Barnet, um, and a real mix of properties. We've also got a new development we've recently built in the Barnet area, so we have a real mix of established and newer properties. Lots of lovely homes, massive flats in the area as well. A lot of the houses have got fantastic gardens, great green open areas. I also think Barnet's probably got the most fruit trees um, in, in every garden I go to in Barnet has, has fruit trees, uh, you know, like everyone's running their own little orchard Ooh. at the back of their house and it's fantastic, it's really lovely to see. Barnet is very green, so the end that I live I'm surrounded by green countryside and I can walk two minutes into Barnet High Street and I have the shops. Further down the road there's um, a lovely park called Courthouse Gardens. I've got dogs and to go out into Hertfordshire and walk, you know, end it with a nice pub lunch and that is fantastic. The schools are very good here. There's a, a, a huge cross section and they start from the little ones all the way through to um, going to college. There's some very popular um, primary and secondary schools in the area with Christchurch Folds, Monk and Hadley Primary Schools amongst others. Um, we have QE Boys, QE Girls secondary schools here as well as St Martha's in Hadley Woods. So there's a number of really established, really popular schools here and that's ideal for families coming in. If you love sport, or you want your kids to be, you know, growing up with the great outdoors, well, there's lots of sport, sporting facilities. Two minutes from Barnet, in the car, there are other gyms. So there's the first field centre in Potter's Bar. Where you can go and you can do your weightlifting, your swimming, your tennis, and all kinds of gym work and stuff. And it's a, it's a good facility up there. There's lots of walkers that walk around the area. So there's a variety of exercise. There's lots to do here and I can walk, I walk up and down Barnet High Street and everybody knows me because of the amount of time I've been here and people stop and chat. The main reason why I like to live in Barnet is the community aspect. 
Uh, you've got so many different organisations that you can belong to and these are people that care about the high street, that care about Barnet. There's something unique about here and I think it's because I feel part of a community that maybe in lots of areas today has disappeared but here it seems to be thriving. Mm -hmm.